Hey, what's up, Thick Stack Virgin Gang? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing pretty good today on stuff I got semi recently in the mail. It's going to be this nice V Star Universe lot right here. Been picking up the singles where I can. The SAR is relatively cheap. Got the Lucario V Star up here. Was featured on the Crown Zenith ETB. You can easily see why. It's a fantastic card. Got the Zoroark V Star as well. That one's awesome. Chase card, beautiful art, beautiful colors. But the Hatterene V Max was my favorite. The Gigantamax art for right there. Hatterene being one of my favorite Pokemon easily. Hey, man, Sword Shield did a lot of good things. And V Star Universe is definitely one of them. Awesome cards right there. I'm just, you know, been getting them slowly for the singles, not paying for those boxes. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about something that popped up. Kind of thought this would pop up eventually, especially for uh, who it's about and what's going on. So let's talk about uh, Mystic 7 or Mystic Rips, as some of y'all have heard. So he actually recently has been doing a couple things, saying a couple things about him receiving hate lately. Before we get into that, some of you guys may not know him. He used to do a bunch of Pokemon Go stuff. He was Mystic 7. He still does that, by the way. He's not gone. He has that channel, but he recently, I think about like a year ago or something like that, he started opening up Pokemon cards from a channel called Mystic Rips. He basically was doing what the other bigger PokeTubers were doing, buying a lot of cards, spending a lot of money, doing a lot of stuff, yada, yada, yada. Nothing too crazy, right? It wasn't really anything out of the ordinary or anything absurd. He really caught a lot of traction, though, in the Pokemon community whenever he supposedly made a million-dollar Pokemon card purchase featuring a ton of vintage product. That fucking video right there. That was sent to me so many times, so many people are talking about that, so many people wanted my opinion on it. I really didn't have anything to say about it at the time, I still kind of don't, except for like one thing, I'll get to that here in a second, but uh, he recently put out something, and it's it's kind of weird, if it's, not, it's also not that weird, so he put something out a little bit ago, so it was like, hey all, it seems Mystic Rips has been getting quite a bit of hate lately, I would like to better understand why so I can fix it. And then he's like, if you have constructive feedback for our brand, <laughs> please respond to this tweet. Yeah, blah, X, whatever, fuck it, you respond to there. So he's been receiving a little bit of hate, a little bit of backlash, and it's uh, I know mostly where it's coming from. Cool Trainer Ryan had been recently saying a couple things or dropping a couple things about stuff that he had seen. And there's also been criticism free of any of that, just on his own videos right there, free from anything any PokeTuber has to say. Most notably being that $1 million Pokemon card one right there, where I reviewed the video and how it kind of looks. Some of his comments reflect this stuff too. There's, it's very easy to get it confused. It kind of looks like, allegedly, Mystic basically put $100,000 into that, and that's basically what he owns from that actual collection. From what I understand, from what I took away from that video, okay? And the other 900000 is of someone completely different. Like, he was just also in on that deal as well, but that person put up the majority of the money, got the majority of the collection, and the clickbait title was still used where it was, I bought a $1 million Pokemon card collection. From, to my knowledge, and what I personally reviewed, it does not seem like that is how that happened at all. It seems like he just bought his own fucking portion of it and then was like, I'm just going to fucking clickbait this shit, right? And that got a lot of actual kickback as well, though. Not just from people who don't like him or anything like that. His actual fandom, his actual fan base. A lot of people sent me that video where it's basically saying the same thing, where they took that whole thing and got that stuff as well. His later videos that he talks about, like his like $10,000 box and stuff like that, it just further goes to support that he didn't actually buy the $1 million collection. Allegedly, of course. Not that I think I'd get in trouble for saying that. I mean, it's in his video. Or it's just... It's, it's fucking goofy, man. It's it's a whole thing like that. Rock Speaking of goofy, Rock did a video about that stuff too. Go check it out. He's pretty nice. He's pretty fair. He's pretty balanced about the whole thing if you want to go check it out. I recommend it. Rock's a good homie. But I did leave a comment. I did actually say something. I just want to be fully uh, transparent about that. I basically said how I felt about it. Uh, the $1 million purchase clickbait is a pretty good example of why you've caught certain people's attention. Other than that, you seem fake as hell. Hope that helps, champ. And that's, that's generally how I feel about watching some of his content. His Pokemon Go stuff is relatively inoffensive. There's nothing wrong with it. And there's some people that are making comparisons to him to fucking Leonhardt. Is he as bad as Leonhardt? God, no. No shot, no. He is not even anywhere close in that ballpark just yet. He is still relatively young in the Pokemon TCG scene, so I suppose we'll see. But no, he is nowhere near that bad. He is nowhere near that level of anything. Just... It does seem like some of his content does resonate a little bit like fake, in my personal opinion. It doesn't really seem like he's 100% in what he's doing, from what I take from it as well. I mean, fucking the million dollar card purchase, for example. He purchased, to the best of my knowledge, a $100,000 worth of Pokemon cards. And instead of just rolling with that and then tacking it on, as like, I bought part of a million dollar Pokemon card collection. Look, I know how the YouTube game works, okay? I know you gotta jerk off the fucking YouTube algorithm and you gotta put up their... $1 million Pokemon card. When you do that, 
and you're actually not doing that, your actual fan base starts to question things that you actually do. The trust you're starting to build with fucking people that watch your channel, it's just starting to erode. And quite personally, it just looks goofy. It looks kind of lame that like $100,000 wasn't enough for you. Like the average people, you have more in fucking Pokemon cards. You have a better collection than I'll probably ever have. You have a better collection than most people in this community will ever have. And it just seems like that $1 million actual mark on your video was a hell of a lot more important than the actual video, what you were producing for your actual fans, and just it, 100000 just wasn't good enough for the average person, which is exceedingly more than anybody is going to pay on Pokemon cards for the most part that watches you, and just seems like a ploy to like either make your shit go a little bit bigger on YouTube, which it did, you're the one with 124,000 subscribers, and that video got 245,000 views, so what the fuck do I know to just take what I have to say with a grain of salt? I don't dislike you, by the way. I don't think you're a bad person because I know you're going to watch this. I just think, I think you're a little goofy. think you're a little fake. think you're a little wonky. think you kind of got to put your stuff a little bit in the right direction if you want to actually make legitimate content for Pokemon fans and not just put out this fucking bullshit, cookie cutter, sugary sugar, fake content that someone has already paved the way for you to do. Like, you're not even doing your own thing, man. Your Pokemon Go content wasn't bad. You still kind of did a little bit of the same stuff that other people did, in my personal opinion. But you did seem like you genuinely enjoyed what you were doing there. The Pokemon card TCG thing, it just seems tacked on. Seems like something to do. Seems like what everyone else is doing. So, might as well make some money here. Might as well spend some money on some big Pokemon cards. I'm sure you like the cards. I'm sure you like some things about Pokemon. It's just funny. That's all I got to say about that. And if you don't want to hear feedback, you don't want to hear any hate, you don't want to hear any criticism, I'd just stop reading the comments. I'd fucking just stop. I'd turn, I'd put up your video, and I'd fucking put my hands together and be like, well, oh, that's it, I'm just, I'm, that's that's my video, it's gonna lay. I'd stop reading the comments, man, if you can't handle it, because if you really want feedback, you should listen to what people are saying. You should listen to that stuff, and not just the people that are saying, oh my god, Mystic, you're doing so fucking good, you're the best person ever. Dude, you're not even top 10 Pokemon content creators. I'm just gonna be real with you, you're not. You've not done anything original. You've not done anything that warrants like any kind of special treatment. You have some money. You threw it at some boxes. whoop de fucking do A lot of people have done that. With that being said, you do what you want to do, man. Don't let what I have to say or don't let what anybody else fucking has to say sway you on what you're doing. If you like what you're doing, fuck what I have to say. You do you. Just, you wanted feedback. There you go. That's all I got. Appreciate it, Virgins. See you later. And this is not something to go actually attack anybody for. He wanted feedback. I gave it to him.